that's number one. No toe stops. You can't forget that you don't have toe stops when you're switching the blades. Shoot. Okay. What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? Indy Jama Jones here, and today we are in Bakersfield, California at the Intuition Skate Shop. I went on a rollout a couple weekends ago, and I wore my rollerblades. And since some of you guys have been asking the difference and the similarities between rollerblades and roller skates, I figured this would be the perfect spot to take you to talk about it. Let's go check it out. Intuition Skate Shop. Uh, well, I'm uh, Matt Mickey, and I own and operate Intuition Skate Shop here in Bakersfield, California. This is our 18th year in business. Uh, we specialize in inline skates, aggressive recreational fitness speed uh, for boys and girls, all the way up to men and women. And then we also carry uh, quad skates or roller skates uh, for boys and girls, men and women as well. So that's our specialty, inline and quads. And I'm a rollerblader myself and I'm here to help out with uh, the Planet Roller Skate episode with the differences between inline skates and roller skates. Um, cool, so since you brought it up, do you wanna kind of just do like a really quick, super basic overview of the differences between inlines and quads? Absolutely, let's keep it to like maybe two or three main points. Cool. Uh, inline skates, for example, these K2. Those are the ones I'm wearing in the rollout that I filmed. Yeah, these are K2 Alexis, you'll notice, boom. Four wheels in a row, AKA inline skates. Contrary to, for example, sure grip boardwalks, four wheels side by side. So the main difference is clearly visible. Inline and roller skates. And you'll notice for inline, if they have a break, it's in the back. Raise your toe to stop. For quads, the break is in the front. Raise your heel to stop. A lot of times, on inline skates, especially the aggressive, hard shell. What does aggressive mean? Aggressive is uh, parks, ramps, rails, and ledges. You take these skates and you utilize them to perform tricks on obstacles that weren't necessarily intended uh, to be skated on. Handrails, ledges, uh, stair sets, wall rides, but you could also use them at the skate park. But what's kind of unique to inline skating is you'll have a hard outer shell and a removable inside liner, whereas like on these Moxie lollies here, it's always, that's the newest issue of Anti-Click Magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll with the up. quad skates, uh, it tends to be like uh, either a suede or a vinyl skate body itself and uh, no liner inside. So I guess that would be the three main aspects that make inline different than quad. But at the same time, you could be an inline skater and have friends that quad skate and you can go to the skate park or the roller rink or on a bike trail or on a beachfront rollout and still have a blast. So different, but unique together, if that makes sense. Yeah. All wheels welcome. I, that's what I always say, like they're more similar than different because sure. it's wheels under your feet. It's wheels underneath <laughs> your feet. You're pushing to skate forwards or backwards. And the cool thing is with quad skates and with inline skates, as you can see from the footage that Indy has had from around the shop, there's so many options. You don't have to deal with or settle for just black or white. And then you can customize your skates with laces, wheels, sole plates, cuffs, et cetera, to give it a unique look. Cool. You've got a quad skate that's more like a car, and then you have an inline skate that's more like a motorcycle. So the quad, you'll notice two wheels in the front and two wheels in the back, and the toe stop in the front. And then if you let go of the inline, what happens? If you let go of the inline, 
tips over just like a motorcycle. So if you're standing at, say if you come up to an intersection and you're like, hey, we're gonna go to Sonic, let's go. I'll take my car, AKA my roller skates, or I'll take my motorcycle, AKA my blades. You roll up to the stoplight, the car is idling, the motorcycle, if you don't put a kickstand down, tips over. And you can see from the bottom, four wheels in a row, AKA inline, two wheels side by side, front and back, AKA quad or roller skates. Cool. I would wear inlines and quads for different things. So like when I went on the rollout the other night and I knew we were gonna be going really far for a long time and that everybody else was gonna be on inlines, that was a great time to put on my blades. I wore some like regular old fitness blades, um, the K2 Alexa, it was a ton of fun. I also am putting on blades recently to grind more. I really love the way that they're able to grind like so gracefully and I feel like with roller blades, I'll be able to learn and progress in a way that uh, might be a bit more difficult on quad skates with a retrofitted grind block. So I'm pretty excited to get into grinding. Still, I still prefer roller skates and the bowls because the way that they grip to the wall and the way that the trucks uh, draw circles and have action in the wheels is a uh, it's just a very different feel. I love it way more. It's like surfing. I get to do my hip swing. It's, it's a feeling that you don't quite get um, on rollerblades to me, where rollerblades are drawing much straighter lines. Um, but yeah, they're cool for different things. I think it's fun to experiment and try both, and that's why I'm sharing this episode with you guys. So let me know if you have gone on any inline adventures or if you skate both, or maybe if you're skating one and interested in trying the other. Uh, yeah, I think this is a fun conversation to have. What do you use your blades for and what do you use your skates for? Guess we'll see. When I went on the rollout the other day, I wore this K2 Alexis skate. Uh, it was super comfortable. I loved it. This is definitely a more fitness style blade or recreational blade. Uh, right now, the new skate that I'm excited to try are these Sabas. And these are an aggressive blade. So they have the H block for grinding and then this sole plate for grinding. So I'm going to be able to do a lot of really cool grind tricks on this guy. So stay tuned for that. Should be a painful and exciting journey. <laughs> Thank you, Matt Makey, for giving us a little breakdown. Of You're welcome. Thank lines. you for stopping by. Of course. Uh, you can check us out at intuitionskate.com, and you can also keep up with us on Instagram at Intuition Skate Shop. Do I have to introduce yeah, myself? Yeah, you introduce yourself? What's <laughs> so up guys, Michael Bidoza, Blading with Chef Knives. We are here on Bouchard and Brookhurst. Uh, it is a beautiful Saturday afternoon in sunny Southern California. We're gonna be, this is the end of Huntington Beach, right? We're gonna go to Newport. What's up? Balboa. It's gonna be a gorgeous skate. This is inline skate day. <laughs>
my camera instead of the road and totally ran into a parked car. Oh! <laughs> I'm totally fine, but you know, this is a, why I practice using my camera before I take it to the real streets. <sighs> Cause I gotta learn how to use it without looking at the screen the whole time so that I can keep skating. Jeez. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Planet Roller Skate. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Check out planetrollerskate.shop for all your roller skating needs. And until next time, ah! later.